Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Time Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite the Explosive. One joining us here, the man on the sticks, on the sticks dude. And we're playing uh, Madden 20. We're the Kansas City Chiefs now. Ooh, we're Ooh. chiefing it up. We're doing the old uh, Super Bowl run. <laughs> yeah, man. We're making it happen. We're making life. That's our quarterback. That's our coach. Look who they are. Oh, he's the guy they won. Yeah, they, they did won it. The, they won the real life game. He did the real life boy stuff. They did the stuff that's actually difficult to do. In life. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Big, big winner, big winner man team. Yeah. Boys. TNT, what are you going to use for toilet paper when we don't have any? <laughs> I bought as much toilet paper as I usually buy, which is none. a six, <laughs> none, <laughs> which is a six pack. <laughs> A six pack of double roll Charmin because I only use that quilted stuff that feels like I'm wiping my A with blankets. <laughs> Thousand thread count Egyptian <laughs> cotton. <laughs> all right. Blanket cotton. <laughs> yes. All right. Fair. I, I wipe my butt with the thinnest of papers. All right. Yeah, that dude, you right. can get in the Walmart <laughs> toilet paper aisle, sir. Fair. <laughs> I'm going to use coffee filters. <laughs> coffee filters. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, does that, you'd have to use a handful of them, man. Yeah, dude, but the, nobody's buying them. All your time just about coronavirus and, and soothes up supply. Coronavirus demand. life hacks. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know where that started from. I think like the first time I heard about the toilet paper uh, crisis was. <laughs> I lived through the 2020 toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is, dude. <laughs> was I heard it would happen in Canada first. Oh, really? But, yeah. But I, I may have just been late to the show, honestly. I don't, I don't know, know, know where it it's started. Been, it's, yeah, dude. I don't but, know. yeah, there is definitely a toilet paper I was crisis. Like, I know. I tried to be smart. Like, I know how the general public reacts. So, over the last couple of weeks, I bought a couple extra things here and there. Like, I, I buy a couple extra cans of soup, whatever. Just be, or buy it. Like, because I know people go crazy, dude. And dude. it's like... I don't think it's going to be that big a deal. Right. Like, I just, like, I, I'm, in my head, I'm like, okay, if if they're like, everyone should stay home for a couple weeks if you can, like, cool. Yeah. I don't need to go to the grocery store. I have enough food to eat. Yeah, exactly. You know, and that's like, great. It, it's like, I don't know why you need enough toilet paper to wipe your A till Christmas. People are treating the coronavirus like it's an EMP. Like, it's just going to take out the power and f electronic functionality of everything in, like, a... Right. Like, what do you need bottled water for? The sink works. The coronavirus. <laughs> the, 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 right. coronavi the coronavirus isn't going to, like. It's not going to take the sink out. Right. Like, you're not going to, like, go off the grid, lose power. Like, you're not going to have fresh water anymore. Like, I don't. It's not a zombie apocalypse. Like, uh oh, everybody has corona, so nobody can go and keep the power plant man or the, <laughs> right. the water plant. like everyone's gonna turn into like dead blockers and like then like everything's just gonna start shutting i don't know dude. yeah like people are stocking up on guns and that's probably a good idea <laughs> <laughs> somebody comes knocking each door let me in let me in you got corona <laughs> <laughs> right dude it's like it's like an apocalypse get one of those like uh what are those, uh, the guns that... The fever gun, the, the, one touched, the fever thing where you touch... Yeah, oh, you the, have a fever, get out of here! It's the thermometer gun, put your forehead up to the door! <laughs> dude, I don't know. I dude. just need some toilet paper, please. Please, can you pass me a roll? Step 20 feet back! <laughs> we'll set one outside the door! <laughs> I haven't shit <cheated> months! <laughs> <laughs> you just can't if you don't have toilet paper. Nope. <laughs> Step out... Dude, I like that. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> All right, get the boy. The boy. Go put the toilet paper out there. I'm going to keep you covered. Yeah, right? He puts the toilet paper out there. Two of them that he didn't see. <laughs> Try to run in and snatch they it They run on them. They're just got like runny noses. <laughs> <laughs> I like They're that. They're coughing a lot. <laughs> you step away from my boy. You got that corona. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's like, dude, it's the flu with dude, but worse. We should write the movie, dude. There's going to be a movie. You know that anything bad, there's a movie about. Joe, I swear, we. I, I feel like if we were started writing, this is essentially what writers do. Right. We could sit up here and we could wow, make we're it. we're 21 to 7? How'd that happen? <laughs> 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 Holy crap. I, literally, this is the first time I've looked at the what? screen. Yeah, me too. <laughs> So okay, we could, we could make a good do? movie. It could be a great movie. Dude, we could write something. I think we could like co-write 
Dude, we should try to come up with like a, a TV show that like would be like a Netflix show and come up with like 12 solid episodes and yes. then literally go pitch to Netflix. You're not even wrong. You know what's funny? You just reminded me of something too when you said that. Um, Lil Dicky. Yeah. You remember how even in like his album that I listened to a thousand times, his first album, or whatever, he's talked about how he like he wants to write shows and stuff. He's yeah. not really like a hundred percent committed to the rap game, and he even like got some backlash because it's like how you you know how are you like, gonna put out rap and be like I'm not really into it? Yeah, yeah, like that's always been a problem. But anyway, he has a show. He's got a freaking show. Well, it's yeah, he got out. famous off a of rap, and then he, <laughs> once he, you're already famous, then you have no problem getting. He literally pitched a show, and it's it's going to start pretty soon. I was yeah, like, that's like crazy. Um, you can go. I looked up before. You can pitch shows to Netflix, and it, it's it's very it's like it's a lot less um, risk for Netflix to do to do that because. They have their own platform. You're not yeah. having to pitch a show to a network. Yeah. You're like, hey, we'll put it on our stuff to watch with all of our other stuff. And if people don't watch it. Mm -hmm. and, and it's about if they'll fund you or not. Right, exactly. So it's like you can, it's not as high risk for them to try to take it. So if you wrote a show and, you know, you could probably do like a, I would think like six episodes probably for usually like a first season is only like yes, six yeah, episodes. Yeah. But if you get like a good concept for six episodes, I think, dude, I think we could write a show. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> I, I like as soon as I start thinking about stuff like this, I always start getting super deep, and I'm like, no, because I'm gonna write something really good, and they're gonna try to pervert my baby, and it's because oh, you're funding it, so you, I lose all creative control over it. But you know what? When they put that check in your pocket, Jonas. you said you would sell out to Mountain Dew, mm, but it's my baby. <laughs> well, right, but that's why if we wrote a show, we would have to write a show not because it was what we wanted to the most; it's what we thought would sell. And, and, then it's, and then it's you're creating a product for sale. You're not creating a, a love of work. Show then is. wait, let me let me. Then once we get it sold, and we have our own money, then we can write for ourselves. Oh and, my God, Jonas, you are not an artiste. That is not something an artiste would say. But what happens is like the first thing is always the thing that you're most passionate about, and then you're right. They they are like, oh, well, I know you have like a a a, a, a straight black male lead yeah. we're gonna take your show but we're gonna make him chinese and you're like but that's not that we wrote the show with this in mind like we want yeah but here's some money and then you're like oh yeah cool you can change it to asian culture ah, see? like you know it's funny i had a friend jonas uh once in my life who was an artist and she had kind of like the same kind of issue because she was like not a well-known artist she's right. a small-time artist so she worked for like a greeting card company and she would make personalized greeting cards and she hated it because it's like they give you something they tell you how they want it done and you essentially create somebody else's vision with very with like i mean minimal minimal input from yourself as to what the design is right and it's just like i'm just being used to my skills right which everybody does Ugh. but that's why like you use it you have to like enter the system with that in mind and then once you get some success then you have the clout to be wow. able to be like hey i did this show this so this this show here's my own thing being an artist sucks man. it does because you don't make <laughs> any money so you have to take what money you can get and at that point you're basically selling out because they're changing your vision anyway think about how many people have like a passion for this they, they had dreams of like making their own movies and tv shows and they're working on a commercial for a bank farm yeah, no, well, I think I think what happens a lot of times is, you know, you get someone who's like, I'm going to write a screenplay, I'm going to write a screenplay, and they put their heart and soul, and they take 10 years to write this screenplay, and then fin they finally get it done, they're like, I'm going to start taking this to studios, they go to a studio, and the studio is like, I love it, we want to do it, but you have to give us creative control, and they're like, okay, and they take their and then all of a sudden they take like the basic premise of your story and change everything else. There's another good show, Jonas. I will watch the show on Netflix too. See, we're doing it right now. That's a good show. We a show make a about sh the person. That <laughs> That's a good show. I don't. I mean, what's gonna be like the the the, the episodic like? It could be about. Points? It could be a side of the industry that people don't see. Yes. I, I mean, it's 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 essentially the same story, but it's told in a different way. Yeah. And then at the end, he shoots himself. I was going to say, yeah, he kills himself because he's so distraught. <laughs> Great about minds think alike, Joe. I know, dude. Because, like, okay. We're going to pitch the gonna, Corona Zombie Apocalypse. Like, my, my favorite sort of shows and movies are where, like, 
the hero doesn't win or like something bad. So like if I ever wrote something like that's kind of I think where I would want it to go because it's so surprising. No one ever expects the hero not to be successful. Spoiler alert, Breaking Bad. One of the greatest shows ever. Right. Dude, he freaking, yeah, he loses. Right. <laughs> he won, but he lost. Right, exactly. <laughs> he like, didn't win. Like, yeah, like, and it's just, it's just, and I think that leaves such a bigger impact. And people hate that because it's not happy, but I think it leaves such a bigger impact. Oh, yeah. I'm 100% about, like, the anti-hero or the bad end. Dude, I love the Dude, bad I mean, end. Dude, yeah, because, like, it was Breaking Bad, it was, what, like, six seasons? You get so vested in this, like, nerdy science teacher who turns into this like drug kingpin and then he's like and then all of a sudden at the end he's just dead yeah and, <laughs> yeah and then i go back and i think spoiler alert the end of sopranos which i was invested in the soprano i don't know how well, yeah because it, it was it, a great it, show i think it's important for a show to have a definitive end yeah because i don't think if you get people that vested in anything for that long they need closure whether they like mm -hmm. it or not mm -hmm. not a what if uh he died he didn't Oh my god! I can't believe they killed him, or that was a stupid ending. Whatever, yeah. but don't leave it up like you don't know what's gonna happen. Because then it's just like at least speculation. No one has closure. Yeah, probably one of the worst endings to a show. To yeah, oh, I mean that's kind of the same. We're gonna lose this game. Um, <laughs> uh, Pretty par for the course. It's kind of like you know some people have a really hard time with like if you're in a relationship and your girlfriend or boyfriend breaks up Whoa. with you but doesn't tell you why Whoa. and then and then they won't or they just kind of ghost you or, or let's say you're we talking to someone and they ghost you we turn into some sort well no it's, in I'm, the, just, in I'm the, putting in it girls? in a terrible term <laughs> okay I and guess and then like people like it's like you not knowing is the part that bothers people yeah. so like if someone like you're talking to say you say you have a, a, bo a girlfriend and you're hanging out with her for no. a while and all of a sudden they're, or you're dating a girl or something and then they just <laughs> stop talking to you or the same thing what happens with women with dudes. But then they're like, well, why, why did they just stop talking to me all of a sudden? They didn't say anything. They didn't let you know. You don't know, but you know it's over. See, but that, that see, now, this is a good story, too, but it wouldn't sell to Netflix. What? Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. just saying, ghost, and, ghost and girls ain't gonna sell. I'm comparing a written thing to a real life experience. <laughs> yeah, I'm know. not talking about writing that story. <laughs> I know, but we, we we weren't the entire video, but we were talking about stuff that turned into a good story for Netflix. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I get you. I, I don't need closure. Need a, I don't care. You need a closure. Bye. <laughs> Bye, girls. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, that's different, but. You know, it's like the same sort of thing. It's like people, that's what bothers people about any situation is like having a result, but not being able to know why. Yeah. I'm trying to think of any show that did have like a satisfactory ending that Lost affected had a me. terrible ending. Lost got, dude, I like, like the first, I was late, I was late to Lost Train. Me too. I didn't start watching Lost until people said it was getting bad. <laughs> when they yeah. were like, this show is awful. I was like, hey, well, let's see what everybody was loving about it so far. It was it was pretty good. First season was good, I see, and then it just like they were on a different island. They were in the real world. And it yeah, was, that, that stuff got crazy. It, it was noir. Back in time. Like, well, here's where my my biggest problem with Lost is <laughs> it, is I, I like I I started Lost late as well. I started Lost. Um, I basically caught up with Lost on the last season. I was DVRing the current season, which was the last. So like, we me and Max girlfriend were watching it. And we caught up to Lost with, like, two episodes left. So we watched the last two pretty much when everybody else did. Oh, no. See, I stopped watching it once it got bad. I'm not going to watch your bad show. Um, you but, can't make me watch your bad show. What I think happened was I think Lost had great ideals, but I think they stretched stuff out so long the network was like we need to end this show so they started just jamming things in oh, to get well, their yeah, story obviously. arc you're like you know because if you look at how the story arc moves those mm. first two seasons very slow and then those yeah. last like four seasons it's just like bah, 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 and you're like what is happening there's so much going on see now that that's another thing that writers come up to because you have to keep coming up with ideas i don't think i think the whole thing is that they didn't even like they only had like a season written right and then they want more seasons and then you're like well what the yeah. hell do we do and then they story? were like going episode to episode essentially just trying to make make sense and you know they of course you're going to have holes in your plot because you can't remember everything <laughs> instead of having like an entire beginning to end written beforehand right yeah because you're not going to put all that money into writing <sighs> seven seasons when you don't even know if it'll get picked up after the first it's a shame when that happens to a show man it's like 
Like, I remember Heroes. I love that. And then that died. Yeah, I'm old enough to remember Heroes that and happens, Lost. I think that happens with, like, every show. Eh, we lost. Not every show. But because, like, even, like, The Office, like, they didn't expect that ish to run nine seasons. So by, like, the last couple seasons, it's still funny, but it's not the same show it was, like, in the first three seasons. Yeah. It's, they're just like, what can we do? What can we do to keep it going? But it was so good. And basically, it was the last season. Yeah, and even the last the season, season was good in its own yeah, way. It was Ed just Helms, weird. Ed, Ed Helms killed it but uh what's the other guy shake and bake shake and oh bake. will ferrell will will ferrell he was he was good he was only in there for like three episodes but he was so good i was like please stay but well then james spader came in he was all right yeah but like it just it was a it was a different show and that happens yeah. with every show it starts yeah. and then by the last few seasons it's a different show because they're dragging it out to get ratings as long as they can mm -hmm. and then people slowly start coming off the boat and then they're like yeah Okay, it's time. <laughs> it's time to cut it. I wonder when they're going to do that to the Simpsons. Never. I think that'll go forever. So. Uh, but anyways, that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, call your grandma. Is that going to happen to us, Jonas? Yes. <laughs> oh, God, no. We have nothing else to talk about. This is the last episode. <laughs> Well, we've been going downhill ever since episode one. But right. <laughs> How can you be canceled when you were basically canceled from the start? Uh, we are out.